Hey there, do you have a water softener in your home? If you do, you probably know that you need to add salt to it regularly to keep it working properly. But do you know what kind of salt to use? There are actually different types of water softener salt, and they have different advantages and disadvantages. In this video, I'm going to explain the differences between three main types of water softener salt, rock salt, solar salt, and evaporated salt. Rock salt is the cheapest and most widely available type of water softener salt. It is mined from underground deposits and contains a lot of impurities such as dirt and clay. These impurities can clog up your water softener tank and reduce its efficiency. Rock salt also dissolves slowly, so you need to use more of it and refill your tank more often. Solar salt is made by evaporating salt water in the sun. It is more pure than rock salt but still contains some impurities such as calcium and magnesium. These impurities can also cause problems for your water softener such as scale buildup and reduced water flow. Solar salt dissolves faster than rock salt so you need to use less of it and refill your tank less often. Evaporated salt is the most expensive and most pure type of water softener salt. It is made by boiling and evaporating brine in a controlled environment. It contains almost no impurities, so it does not cause any problem for your water softener. Evaporated salt dissolves very quickly, so you need to use the least amount of it and refill your tank the least often. So which type of water softener salt should you use? Well, it depends on your budget and your preference. Rock salt is the cheapest but most problematic. Solar salt is a good middle option that offers some benefits over rock salt. Evaporated salt is the best but the most expensive. You can also mix different type of salts to find the best balance for your water softener. I hope this video has helped you understand the differences between the types of water softener salt. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to improve your home.